Hey, everybody. Hey, welcome back. Frank and Gary, your <laughs> favorite castle rebuilding people in Kentucky. Back yes. for another installment. Yes. And we have microphones. So this, this part is really fantastic, <laughs> we hope, with our brand new microphones. Yes. But the beginning of this video, well, a lot of this video isn't. No, it is not. We did voiceovers. So luckily we had a viewer comment that he wanted more voiceovers. So voila. Viola. <laughs> you have a uh, <laughs> video of voiceover, yeah. but um, it's a, actually a really nice video. We go into uh, the, the discovery of the beam uh, that we're standing above up here in the attic. So well, we're standing above the new one, but, and, and we're catching up on the video. That was, it was filmed, I think, probably Just, it, January or? End of, end of November, beginning of December with all the holidays and cold weather. So. We're running out of video. <laughs> <laughs> it's catch, getting closer, yeah. <laughs> so, we hope you enjoy. Sorry about the uh, audio issues. We did our best. Uh, have fun laughing at the link, lip syncing. Yeah, uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. But anyway. We did what we could. Thanks for watching. Bye. All masked up and gloved up. We're my heart up. Yeah. We're getting ready to take that lath and plaster down there so we can get to the floor joists. So this is the hallway coming up the main stairwell. So getting started on that. Sorry about the bad audio on this part of the video, but we'll try to make it as good as possible. We're just showing how we're taking down the lath and plaster. Carrie got some pretty good shots. This one's a pretty good shot of the stairwell and a little bit of our construction debris. Of course, we're uh, examining our wonderful, wonderful things. Well, if you're wondering what I'm doing, it's called Discovery. I know, we've had the house over two and a half years, but we still find we know some of the pieces were bad. And this is one of the areas where we know we might have a problem, might not have such a big problem, but this was where the little flat roof was leaking really bad. A lot of this floor was destroyed. So we're trying to find out how, how to make it good. And we need to find out what's going on with this. The entire span, the beam or whatever they have in there, we have to take this whole thing out. This. I've done a little, little messing around with it. It looks like they built it on the ground and put it up as one big piece. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take it down to one big piece, theoretically.
and this is the beam on the ground. It's a very ornate heart pine crown molding. Uh, some of the water damage, it's upside down in this picture right here. But it's it's pretty. It was in put together one piece. So This is the beam that they put up. This is underneath the post holding up the roof. So for the first time, this is the first time I decided to criticize the builders because I've taken quite a bit of this stuff apart and I've always been impressed with how they built things. I've always defended them, but in this case, it looks like this beam might have been underbuilt. It's four two by eights laminated together, and it's just too far of a span for it's 16 feet from over here sitting on the brick wall and then all the way over to the other side sitting on the brick wall one of the things helping it was the fact that the crown molding was nailed into that beam and it was helping being supported but it wasn't supposed to be supported by this uh, part of the trim so we had to put this post in, Carrie will put a link to it where we did it because the ornate post that was there, it started to uh, bow out because of the pressure that was on it. And there wasn't supposed to ever be any pressure on it. So it's sagging about an inch and a half to an inch and three quarters in the middle. So as soon as I saw that the crown molding used to be so helping to support it, I went ahead and put some shims in this area because that way that beam is kind of supported by that post just below it, even though I don't know that it was very much before. So now we're going to have to design the beam to that can span that 16 feet and hold up the floor and the roof. So here is where I'm pointing out the post that shows the that, that is on the roof. And what we think happened possibly is that as this started sagging, the post that it was supporting sagged the little flat roof started to sag the wrong way, started to allow water in, and the water helped with the demise. So, Carrie's very intrigued by my professional commentary. And it looks like there's a, there's a slight arch to the bricks, so they could have been using that as well to help support it but I don't know that arched bricks that aren't arched very much do what there's do what they wanted them to do in that uh, in that span I guess they can't compress so there's a chance that it was helping but I'm not I'm not a mason I'm a pilot so We've watched a lot of YouTube videos and we don't know that that exact area or that exact arch type helped. But whatever it was, it is something and we'll have to design or just overbuild a beam. So now we're up on the top of what we were just looking at. That's the post that's being... That's holding up the little flat roof it's the temporary one 
and the original one. So as that post sagged, that's where it was leaking. And as you can tell, that's where a lot of the termites hung out. They, oh, we'll put a link to that video too, that, that we found a lot of termites in that area. Of course, we haven't seen any in a long time, but we think it might have caused just a lot of problems. We'll fix it though. And now I'm just doing more discovery. The bricks are on top of that beam. And now we have to figure out how to support these two posts as we take out the major beam that's right underneath them. So we, this is a spot where we can't really make many mistakes because as you can see that's the roof being supported by that beam, that post. So that beam has to be supported somehow. I'm sorry, that post has to be supported somehow by something. So this is something we're uh, trying to figure out. Who knows? <laughs> At this point we uh, didn't really have an idea completely. So we got to do that and support the floor joists that I'm pointing at. So the bricks don't really support anything. They're just blocking in between the floor joists. But those are 14 foot floor joists that go across to the other side. So with all those floor joists sitting on the beam, with those two posts sitting on the beam, we definitely have something to do. And that the floor up here in the attic is completely gone. Anywhere you see plywood, there is no floor. That's the water damage and actual termites ate the flooring. So we have We've been up here quite a few times with jacks and posts and beams and all kinds of stuff. And we'll probably have to take out the flooring from where Carrie's pointing, which is a brick wall, all the way over to the other side. Because all those floor joists are completely, not completely rotted out, but almost all rotted out. But we'll just we we're gonna try to reuse this flooring and we'll just put it all back down once we get it all done. This is just uh seen a rough way to go for these last who knows twenty years or so. But we'll figure out how to support it. You can see the gas pipe right there going through. This, uh, the little flat roof is not on the beam right now. It's being supported by the floor joists running alongside the beam down there. And as I'm starting to look at it, I'm starting to realize that I put all the weight of that post and all the weight of that beam that's going across, that has the other post going to the little flat roof. I'd put all that weight on that 2x12 that the flat, the light's shining on right now. So that was way too much weight for that. <laughs> We're, it, it was very strong 2x12, I'll say that. So if I would have, I did not realize as we were doing this that we were putting that much weight on the 2x12. But so if I had it to do over again, I would have supported it a little better than that. 
but here's where I figured out <laughs> that all that all that weight was on that one two by twelve that spanned sixteen feet as well. So we'll have to do something about that. Of course, these bricks are just for show right now because they uh, they weren't doing anything because of the rotted mortar and they were just loose. But this is what happens with discovery. You uh, go through, figure out what in the world needs to be fixed and how it needs to be fixed and go, how in the world are we going to fix that? <laughs> So, but right now we're looking at the top of that other side of the crown molding. So we're going to have to take that part off. And once we get the stuff off the stairs, we'll be able to do that. So we'll be back later. Mia. Is she crowding you out of your spot? I washed that rug, and now that she's shoving you out of your spot, Minnie, poor Mia. It's not like she doesn't have a warm bed. You big bully, you big bully. Pushing her out, pushing her out, you big bully, you big bully.